Hi, and welcome to Vegan Diver Cat or Ocean Pancake. Today, I want to talk to you about the 30 ways you can help the ocean from your living room. So this is part of the June Ocean Challenge, which is 30 ways in 30 days that you can help our oceans no matter where you live or what you do, what your story is. Here are 30 tips that I'm sharing with you guys, and I would love to hear your tips on how to protect our oceans. Make sure to join the Ocean Pancake Facebook group where we chat about all things sustainability, ocean conservation, and things like that. I would also like to acknowledge what is happening currently in the world with the riots and the protests because of racism happening in the U.S., but we also have to remember it happens all over the world. I do not feel educated enough or knowledgeable enough to talk more about it, but I just want to um, you know, I just want to um, say that I'm going to do my research and I hope you guys too and I hope we can all solve this issue because we need to protect humans and humanity as well. So the number one thing to do, of course, is do not buy endangered animals or any sea animal artifacts, whether this is turtle shells, uh, jewelry made out of turtles, turtle carapaces, um, shark fins, shark fin soup, turtle soup, all of that. Just avoid creating any demand for sea life. That also goes for fish. If you can give up fish, that would be an incredible thing to do for the ocean. I'll get into it why a little later on. The second thing is, is only about 9.5% of all plastic is recycled. So try and eliminate all single use plastics because they will end up floating in our sea, whether that is as microplastics or as megaplastics, but it can seriously harm our marine life. Three is 1.3 billion tons of food is wasted every single year. So minimum waste. Get a compost or um, freeze all your food, make your scraps, minimize your food waste. Number four, of course, is plastic bottles. Get yourself a reusable plastic reusable water bottle instead of single-use plastic bottles since not only is that a massive waste of money but also resources if you live in an area where you can drink your tap water. Number five is our oceans are suffering from overfishing. Majority of the fish stocks in the world are currently depleted or even at the brink of collapse so stop eating wild-caught fish and consider that even freshly Farmed fish is fed wild caught fish, so it is not sustainable um, unless you're going out there with your own rod and reel or spear gun, and it is your only way to get protein, then you can live a better life, especially in this June ocean, without eating fish. I also wanted to do a massive shout out to Leaf Shave. They are sponsoring this video and I'm so grateful because this is a company I truly, truly love. I have been using their plastic free razors for about a year and a half now and honestly, I would never go back. They're as easy to use as the normal plastic ones. All you need to do is just switch out the blades every couple of months. You are saving a lot of money in the long term and look how much less plastic is going into the landfill. These little razors, I've just been putting them in a container and I swear I only have like three in them because they stay sharp for so long, they're easy to use, and they're plastic free. So thank you so much for supporting this video. You guys should head down and get yourself a leaf shave razor right now. Go on. Number six is to consider that 60% of all of our clothing is made out of plastic fibers. These Polymers, microfibers can escape during the washing cycle process. So get yourself a guppy friend or machine wash your clothes less often and add a less intense drying cycle or at least try and buy all natural fibers so you're not releasing those microfibers. Number seven is 
protect our sharks, so go vote against shark nets and drum lines and shark calls which are happening all over the country here in Australia. And I'm sure there's things happening in your part of the world if you live near sharks. Um, sharks are vital for the health of our oceans and our reef, so say no to killing sharks since they're not that dangerous. Number eight, cut out those plastic bags. Now this is an easy one. This is one we've eggs. Now this is an easy one. This is one we've all probably already done. So get reusable plastic bags. You can make your own. Um, you can make your own canvas bags. You can use those reusable ones. Use cardboard boxes. Use just cloth bags. There are so many alternative to plastic bags that do not have to end up in our oceans. Number nine is support organizations or businesses which are out there doing the work to protect our oceans. Parley for the Oceans is a fantastic example. They do cleanups all over the world and not only do they clean up the trash, but they also sort the trash and make sure to put it into the best recycling or processing facilities that they can. They also gather data and help us understand the plastic issue worldwide. Number 10 is to remember that sunscreens have a whole heap of reef killing chemicals in there. Make sure to avoid oxytilparabens, octixonate, and 4-methylbenzaldine camphor. They can damage the health of reefs, ecosystems, make coral reefs biologically dead, and threaten the health of our sea. Number 11, support clothing brands, which are either made from sustainable clothing, they have ethical um, production, they're fair trade, fair made, and uh, potentially consider getting those which are made from ocean upcycled plastics. Some of my favorites, of course, are uh, Wood Like Swimwear, which I wear all the time, and I also have Mingaloo Swimwear leggings. Number 12 is get into the ocean. If you have the opportunity to dive in and get to know the ocean, if you have the opportunity to dive into the ocean, then go for it. The more you know the ocean, the more you love it, the more you will be inclined to protect it and to share the message of saving our oceans with your friends and family. Number 13 is join fellow ocean lovers and compare beach cleanups. There are beach cleanup apps such as Clean Swell where you can actually write what trash you have found on the beach so this helps us gather data and also join in with fellow ocean loving people all over the world number 14 is again keep in mind that sea creatures are our friends they're not food stingrays shouldn't be something that is feared i have a lot of students who are scared of stingrays just keep your respectful distance if you're in the ocean with them and Sometimes scallops in fish and chip shops are actually cut up stingrays, so just consider that. Number 15 is that chemicals which lead into a drain lead to the ocean eventually, so avoid any of that chemical stuff that you may be using in your day-to-day -day life. I like making my own solutions from vinegar, lemon, eucalyptus mixes, or there are some fantastic companies which eliminate waste but still allow you to clean your house with natural and um, non-toxic chemicals. Number 16 is participate in ocean cleanups if you can. A lot of companies all over the world, dive shops, will actually have discounted dive trips if you do an ocean cleanup. But even if you don't go with a dive company, you can always rent your own gear or just go snorkeling and clean up trash underwater. Make sure to stay safe and have a buddy so we don't want anyone getting into accidents. Number 17 is look into the plant-based diet. Animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of deforestation and carbon emissions. Uncover the true cost of meat and dairy and decrease and eliminate your intake. Check out Cowspiracy if you're not sure. This is a fantastic documentary to learn all about the environmental impacts of the animal agriculture industry. Number 18 is support businesses which have taken care of our oceans as part of their business model. Patagonia is a fantastic example of being an ecologically sustainable business. There's also sand cloud towels which donate money for every purchase. I'm a big fan 
of the saltwater tribe. I have their water bottles, absolutely love them, and proceeds go to protect our oceans. I also uh, sell my own t-shirts, plastic is the killer, and proceeds from that go to me organizing beach cleanups and ocean cleanups here where I live. So if you wanna help me do that, head on over there. Number 19 is plastic is absolutely everywhere. So consider the little things that you wouldn't usually usually consider. Plastic is in tea bags, in microbead products, in our clothing, even in bamboo toothbrush bristles. It's in coffee cups, in drink cans, in glitter, and sometimes in corn-based packaging. So be careful what you buy because there's a lot of greenwashing out there. Number 20 is 375 million tons of toxic pollution comes into our drains every year. So make sure you responsibly dispose of your petrol, fuel, chemicals, batteries. Check with your local council or your kind of dish tip shop on how they deal with that in your area. 21 is say no to fast fashion. Instead, invest in few high quality pieces that you are going to wear over and over again. Or if you do want to buy something new, head on over to your local secondhand shop as that minimizes the amount of trash that ends up in the landfill and the carbon footprint of new things being carbon footprint of new things being created. Number 22, if something you exit you already have is broken, then just fix it. There are rep repair cafes popping up all over the world. So learn how to sew and fix up those holes or figure out if there's a way to fix your phone or a laptop or something like that because minimizing buying new things is one of the key things we can do to reduce our impact on our earth. Number 23 is keep in mind the amount of pesticides which are leaching into our earth, into our waterways, and into our seas. These ones cause dead zones along our oceans. So if you can, try and support local, organic, and regenerative agriculture farms. I know this is sometimes difficult to do, but take your time, go to your local farmer's market and chat to the farmers. I'm sure the ones who are working to protect our environment will be very excited with you. Number 24 is to remember 1,000 tons of landfills are filled with just toothbrushes. It's another throwaway product that we have fantastic alternatives for. Check out Boo Boo Toothbrush for a monthly subscription where you can get a bamboo toothbrush delivered to your door. Number 25, if you love camping, if you love being in the outdoors, then make your own mosquito repellent. There is absolutely no need to depend on extremely toxic and chemical products. All you need to do is mix some coconut oil, some eucalyptus or uh, with rubbing alcohol and that does the trick. Number 26, support Sea Shepherd, which are doing the work on the front lines of saving our oceans. They are activists who are putting money where their mouth is, getting out there and um, supporting our seas, saving um, endangered species and raising awareness and the truth about what is happening in our oceans. 27 is going back to those pesticides. Regenerative agriculture, learn what it is, Learn if there is any in your area and get into it. We need to move away uh, from mass-produced, commercialized agriculture, which is commercial uh, monocultures, which are damaging our earth. For example, palm oil. So quit palm oil and instead look for local regenerative farmers who are working to protect our earth. 28 is to remember what is truly damaging the damaging the oceans which is climate change so decrease your energy impacts if you can so ride your bike walk around use public transport carpool driving your car and flying is not ideal solution number 29 now more than ever it is vital to vote vote for whichever country you live in for a greener and cleaner future because as you've seen we need change happening in our governments right now. Number 30 is keep fighting, stay positive together. We can do this. I believe in you guys and share with me all the ideas that you have on how to protect our oceans down below. I'll be sharing tips every single day on my Instagram, Vegan Diver Cat. I'll be having podcasts about this topic. So head on over, 
get involved, join the fight. I love you guys. You are amazing. Can't believe we're at 11,000 people here on YouTube and that, and that I have a podcast that I upload for every week. So head on over there, check it out. Seriously, thank you so much for allowing me to do the work I do and I'll see you guys in the next video.